Hi, I'm Dave Warzel and you're watching PHTV4 and this is a round payless for the Classic Car Show 2022 and it is amazing. There's a great crowd going up and down Harlem. We've got an incredible variety of cars to take a look at and uh, let's go check in with some of these owners. Okay, so here we are with uh, Gary, uh, Gary Valaquit. <laughs> Valaquit, and uh, this is going to be our first car we're going to take a look at. Uh, Gary, this is a beautiful looking car behind us. Can you tell us uh, what car what car do you have here? How did and how did you get it? Uh, this is a Pontiac uh, Le Mans. The year is 1972, and I fortunately was this was handed down to me from my mom and dad, and actually my dad and I bought it from a la a real nice lady out in Hinsdale back several several hundred not hundred years but quite a long time ago and it's been in the family ever since and I'm the one that's very fortunate to, to have it handed down to me and I, I'd love to have mom and dad back but I know they're with me still sitting here looking at the car and watching this go on right now but it's it's a lot of fun to drive and I get a lot of nice uh, looks and, and compliments which I appreciate very much I say it's a great, what a great gift, what a great legacy that you had in your family because now it looks like it's in mint condition, and uh, your family drove it. Now you're driving it, and uh, and it's it's beautiful to, to bring to a show. Yeah, it's uh, and it's going to be handed down to my son, which his name's Gary too, and he, and I'm sure that he's going to enjoy it just as much as I'm I am right now. Well, that's great. I love it. I love the family tradition. Uh, Gary, thank you. Enjoy the evening. This is a beautiful car back here, folks. It's been a pleasure having you do this interview, and I, I've been in Palos all my life, and I couldn't ask for a nicer town to live in, and, and all the nice people I've met and been with for years. We, and that's how we have nice stuff like this, right? How about it? All right. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, here we are talking to John. Uh, John, how about introduce yourself and tell us what car you got here. My name is John Schiavone, and uh, they call me the Hitman, actually, but I got a 1969 Pro Street Camaro here. Wow. And I know there's a story about it because I can see your T-shirt. You got World of Wheels. Yeah. Uh, they, I know that's a special deal. Uh, can you tell us about the car? How long have you had it, too? I've had it for five years now. It's been done like this for about a year and a half. Uh, I, I run the World of Wheels circuit. Um, last year, it finished number two in the nation. Um, this year we've done quite well. I just got back from Minnesota and uh, this car was grand champion for uh, Pro Street in the Street Machine Nationals this year. So it's quite exciting for me. 
Congratulations, and it's beautiful. I mean, it looks pristine. You've obviously done a great job with it. Yeah, we redid the whole car uh, during COVID, actually. We had nothing to do. We were bored, tore the whole car apart, and redid everything, you know, and all new interior, and uh, wheels and tires by Billet Specialty. They custom made these wheels for me. Uh, you know, just the engine, inter everything. We went through the whole car, man. Red Thread Interior did the engine for, or the interior part. I mean, we just went nuts on the car. It sounds like a great COVID hobby if yeah, you're stuck, it right? <laughs> okay, it, it, it is a, beautiful. It's got a 498 motor in it, putting about 650 on horsepower, and I got 300 to 500 on nitrous on top of that. It's got a turbo 400 trans with a, with a power glass, or with a uh, torque converter, 3500 stall. It's got a strange uh, Fab 9 rear end in it, 411 posi. I, I, I'm almost afraid to ask because I don't want to get in trouble. Do you ever get to test it out somewhere? Oh, I test it out all the time, my friend. <laughs> I have, hey, trust me, she eats, I feed her. You have some fun with her. Yeah. All right, well, it's a beautiful car. Thank you. Thanks, John. Hey, uh, no problem, beautiful, man. beautiful car. Have fun tonight. All right, thank you very much, man. I can't beat it, man. Everything's good. Good. All right, thank you. I'm here with Dennis, and we've got a 1920. This is a beautiful car. Dennis, uh, give us how about your name, where you're from, and, and what car is this right behind us? Uh, my name is Dennis Haywood. I'm uh, from Moni, Illinois, and uh, this is a 1920 Packard Twin Six Roadster uh, with a rumble seat. I'm, I'm amazed. I said to you a minute ago, th this car is 102 years old, and it is absolutely beautiful. Uh, can you talk about, I mean, how long have you been collecting? How did you get it to to this you know condition well I had uh, collector cars uh, for 50 years actually 50 years ago they weren't collector cars they were just used up cars but I've had uh, older cars for I still own some of those for 50 years this particular car we have Packards and uh, this one uh, we were looking at something else guy had it in his garage he had picked a number of cars up these were stored away in a barn in North Central Michigan for uh, since 1952. Quite and, a find. Uh, correct. We didn't find them, but the individual I bought it off of had found them. So, um, and this was towed out of that garage. It was sitting in his garage. We walked in, and uh, I knew what it was immediately. And uh, and my son Tim and I bought it. Um, I didn't expect to restore it to this uh, degree at that time. My uh, goal was to get it up and running. The car didn't run. And uh, so in over an eight-year process, it was completely restored from the ground up. Uh, frame, the engine, everything, the interior. Uh, but it's a real car. It, uh, there, none of this has been reproduced or anything. Uh, so it's the original car. Uh, it was, we were lucky. It was in fairly decent shape, rough shape, but fairly decent. And then uh, a couple years ago, we were invited to uh, Pebble Beach in 1920. And then that, uh, I'm sorry, 2000, 2020. Time and uh, correct, 2020. And then uh, it was, uh, uh, it, that was canceled that year. And so then we were invited last year to Pebble Beach. And uh, the car did very well. It won its class and the vintage class, came in first in class, eligible for best of show. Uh, we were no misconceptions. We were going to win best of show. But it was a very nice experience, and uh, consequently, we've been invited. Uh, this is a local show. We bring a car here every year to this one. Uh, we were invited to bring this one up this year. This is a very nice show. So. I, was, I, I love how humble you are, because this is a beautiful car here, and award-winning, uh, but obviously you've restored it to, it, it, I mean, it, it's a bit of magic back here. My son had a lot to do with that, uh, more than I did. You know, It wouldn't look like this. In fact, at the later stages, I wasn't allowed to touch it. <laughs> well, thank your son for it. Uh, Dennis, thank you. Cool looking car. Enjoy the evening. Beautiful night. Yeah, thank you very much. All right, we're here with Robert now. We got a beautiful Mustang behind me, right? I'm looking at Robert. Beautiful. Couldn't be better. Um, how about your name and where you're from first? I'm Robert Dobson. I'm in Eden Head Park, Illinois. Okay, and what kind of car are you showing here? It is a 1966 Ford Mustang convertible, silver blue. 
It's a beautiful car. Uh, how long have you had it, and how did it get to be in such great shape? Uh, a lot of TLC. <laughs> a, uh, I've, I've done the paint job after 44 years and eight months. It was almost down to primer. Had to make a decision, do I keep the paint job, do I lose it? Uh, so I decided to paint it. And we took it down to bare metal, brought it back up, and there was no rust, no nothing on the car. And I think you told me before, you're the second owner, so you've had it for... 39 years. Wow. I, I, obviously, you've done a great job maintaining it. It is a beautiful car. I just put 1,200 miles on it. We did lap the lake earlier in June up uh, through uh, Wisconsin, over at Mackinac, brought it back down through Michigan. See, I love stories like this. It's not just a beautiful showpiece. No, you know, it's, it's a beautiful it's, car to take for a ride. Car, yeah, we love it. We use it as much as the sun's it. shining and it's, it's moving. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's beautiful. Enjoy. You've got a great car here. Uh, congratulations on taking such great care of it. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Appreciate it very much. Thanks, Greg. Okay, I'm with Joe here, and we've got a beautiful car and a great story. Uh, Joe, can you introduce yourself and where you're from first? Joe Weiner from Indian Hut Park. And what car are you showing? It's a 1940 Buick uh, Limited. 1940, so we're talking about this is an 82-year-old car. How did you get it, uh, and also, how did you get it maintained in such beautiful condition? Okay, so it was my grandfather's uh, from New. was uh, restored in, uh, in uh, 2003. So this car's been in your family since, brand new, since 1940. From your grandfather, you said, who got it next? To, to, to my mom, and then um, my brother and I. Wow, that is, a, what, that's a, I mean, this car in one family, and then maintained this well. And you restored it, when you said? It was restored in, in 2003. So frame, frame off, first the mechanical, and then the paint, and then the, um, the interior, so. Well, you've done a beautiful job restoring it. Uh, it's a beautiful looking car. So, uh, hey, thank you for taking a minute to show us and enjoy the evening. you got a beautiful one tonight. Thank you. Thank you. We have a pretty special car right behind me, and I'm talking with Barry. Uh, Barry, how about, can you introduce yourself and where you're from? Barry Zelane from Palos Heights, 76th Avenue, and I've owned the car for 12 years. Well, how about this? What kind of car you got? What are you showing? It's a 1927 Nash Special 6 Model 333 two-door sedan. Uh, so you, told me, you told me all original. I want you to elaborate on that, and you also told me, I mean, an incredible fact about this car, too. Well, there's a lot of facts about the car. The car is uh, 52 horsepower. It has seven main bearings. It holds seven gallon, I beg your pardon, seven quarts of oil, uh, 30 weight oil. Um, and it is, as, as I said, it's an overhead valve six cylinder. So it's a very strong engine. Uh, it was used uh, during World War II uh, in Willis Jeeps because uh, the engine could take a lot of abuse. Uh, when it was in Europe. How about, so you've had it for 12 years, I think you said, and, and uh, uh, we talked about it, it's, it's a beautiful looking car. You don't see many cars like this. I, I wanted you to touch on that one. Well, it's a, it's a Nash that uh, I've been here six years uh, showing the car in the antique section of, uh, of the car show. Uh, it uh, being original, uh, it's uh, is uh, complete, has snubbers for shock absorbers in the front, first made by Gabriel before they got into hydraulics. It has a 488 gear in the back, so it's really made to go through ruts, sand, uh, snow, and ice, not to go cruising down the highway at 60 or 70 miles an hour. Did you say there's one other car like this in the country right now? There's one other car exactly like this. It's a Special 6 in Anchorage, Alaska. His name is Charles Christensen, and his is green where mine is blue and black and white. And um, I, t I tell him his car looks like a bug going down the street, uh, but he wants me to buy the car for parts. So you always want parts for your car. 
I was going to say, so we've got one of two in the nation sitting right here in Palos Heights. That's amazing. Beautiful car, Barry. Uh, thank you for showing it. Uh, uh, beautiful. I, I, Should we uh, sit behind the wheel and, and blow the horn? I love it. Can we, we could do that, sure. All right. Hang on just a second. Well, I'm Dave Warzall, and this is PHTV4. You've been watching the Classic Car Show 2022, and it has been an amazing event. Great crowd, amazing cars, attendance is incredible. If you miss us this year, hopefully you get to check out 2023. And check us out on Channel 4 and YouTube. Thank you for watching, and enjoy the summer.